Hi guys, so today I'm doing something a little bit different. As you can see here, I've got no sewing machine or anything like that. I'm going to show you how I do my nails. So I don't do my nails like in the sense that I just paint them. I've got this gel nail kit thing and all these different little bits. And it takes me like an hour to do my nails, but it's worth it because it lasts a lot longer. So if you want to know how to do gel nails like mine, then please keep watching. So if you have regular nail varnish on already, all you need to do is remove that. But what I have is gel nail varnish and it's a little bit hard to come off. Obviously that's the nature of it. It's supposed to last you longer, so it's hard to take off. So what you will need, you need some remover, so specific gel nail remover. And I've got like these little tub things. Um, what I'm going to do, you fill up a tub of water. So I've got this here, be very careful. I did use boiling hot water before, but don't do that. It actually burns my hands a little bit. So you just get a tub of warm water, then you just put this in each, because they've got five holes, you put each, put each of this in the five holes bit, then you put it in. So the warmer the water, it does come off a bit quicker, and I did need it to come off as quickly as possible so I could do this tutorial on time. So then what you do is just then you put the water in. Obviously the water is going to, the gel nail liquid is going to heat up because um, it's in the warm water. Then you put that in, I'd say about 15 minutes, and then after 15 minutes you're going to be able to scrape it off. So after the 15 minutes your nails are going to look something like this which looks very attractive. So then you get your scraper. So with your scraper what you can do is just literally scrape it all off. So at this point, as you can see, most of the nail varnish is gone, but you still got a couple bits here, you still got some bits here as well. So we get your filer here on the roughest side, which is this bit, this bit is a lot smoother. And they all kind of say what side is for what side, but I'm going to use this one. I'm going to do, I'm going to rub along the top just to get those smaller bits off. So once you've gone to that point and you've painted it, your nails will look something like this. What I want to do, because I've changed the shape on here to make it a little more of a stiletto sort of shape, which I quite like. These are a bit more rounded, I'm going to make it a stiletto. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clip it about there. there. Take that off and then do the other side. There. Now you've got your nails, you've, you've taken off the previous nail varnish, you've got it the shape that you want, now you're going to be able to paint. So what you need to do, you've got this nail prep thing and you get this little wiper thing. In the pack that I'm going to add in the description, you get all of these sort of things with it and then all the things you have to buy extra like the nail varnishes and stuff. But what you do, you take the lid off like this, like this, and you just block a little bit on, you would need some before and afterwards as well and then you just rub it onto your nail. Take that off and then you just simply paint it on. Don't be too neat or too precious about this. So once you've done that you bring over the kind of gel nail set unit thing. This is the UV light one, you can get the LED light one, that one's only 15 seconds with this one. It was a little cheaper because it is the UV light, um, but by all means get the LED if that one's right for you. So this one, it's got a little timer at the top, I press that, then put my hand in for two minutes. So you've done your nails and you put the base coat on, this is when we get to the fun bit. So I'm using the Nails Own Chrome. What I originally wanted to do is show you the, how to do the chrome nails, but it hasn't come yet. It's been coming to me now and next month for some unknown reasons. So I decided to get this chrome 
nail the model's own paint which is kind of like a glue and this is how it's turned out it looks better in real life i think in synthetic like it looks really dark but when i go to night natural light it actually looks quite nice so i'm going to use that and then i'm going to use this beauty because i'm assuming they're going to be thinking well you can't use proper nail varnish to do gel nails but this this is the miracle so this is called sensation nail it is amazing what it does it turns any literally any regular nail polish into gel nail polish which is awesome i buy this all the time this is my second bottle it saves so much money because if you buy like original gel nail polishes they're like 15 pounds a pop where i can find nail polishes for like a pound if that this one was actually five pounds but this is probably the most expensive one i own other one that i've got two three 2.99 if that so it's fantastic plus i have so many like normal nail varnishes i would have to throw those all the way basically so i have mixed some already to do this nail but what you do you have to add equal parts of the sensation nail gel and equal parts of your nail varnish so i'll just add a little bit more so let's say i'm gonna add three this looks a bit better i'm gonna add three of the normal nail polish one two three then i add three of the sensation nail like gel polish to gel polish one two three Ooh. and then you put this back so this is kind of done with now even though it's the most awesome thing ever in terms of doing your nails so you put that down then you get the normal gel nail out and then you just mix it all together and that's literally it now it's a gel nail polish which is fantastic Put my hand straight back in to do another two minutes. So at this point, my gel nails are pretty opaque for me. I really like the colour. Like I said, in this like light, it's not that great. In natural light, it actually does look really effective. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean that up. The best way I say to clean this is to just get some normal nail varnish and just wipe it around with some cotton wool and it's good as new so you can use it for next time. So now that I'm happy and I'm done with it, I'm going to now put on the top coat. Once you've cured your gel nails for the last time, what you do, you finish it off with the nail pack and wipe. For the last bit, you're going to use some hand cream. I just got this for free, again, from Boots. And then I got this, this is from Primark. This is like a cuticle oil thing. Because you put your hands into the remover thing, it can dry everything out. And that's it. I have got chrome nails with normal nail polish.